So the public beta for iOS 15 is finally here, packing a ton of new features, but the issue is that it still is very much a beta version, meaning even though you have new features, you still have a lot of bugs and a lot of issues. So should you install the public beta for iOS 15 or not? Now the public beta is directly similar to the developer betas we have had, so all the features are pretty much similar in this as well. So first off we have new notifications, so basically the icons for them are larger now and they're a little slim now, so that is a new change. But also we have a new feature called focus which is, which is amazing. So basically you can customize how you get your notifications, you can have them delivered differently for work, for sleeping, for driving. And in that you can customize which applications send you the notifications and which don't. So it's pretty amazing and worth checking out. Now other than that we have SharePlay which basically gives you the ability to share your screen, watch movies or listen to music with your friends on FaceTime and even FaceTime has gotten a lot of changes. So basically you can have portrait mode in your images, you can send the audio in a particular way. So all of this is pretty nice but the best feature in my opinion is live text. So basically you can have this in the photos app, in the camera and whenever the camera or the photo apps realize that there is a text in an image, you have this icon right here. You click on it and you can copy that text and use it anywhere. It works wonderfully on numbers, on emails, on links, basically anything and it's an amazing feature to have and probably the best one in my opinion. Now Safari also has gotten a full redesign in iOS 15 as well. So now the search bar is at the bottom and not on the top and this is something that a lot of people are conflicted about that some like it, some don't and I'm just in the middle. You know, it has its benefits and it has its cons so it's gonna take some time to get used to but it's not as bad as you might think. Now even the weather app is redesigned, the maps app has a lot of changes, iMessages has a lot of improvements, even Siri is now available in offline form and you can keep as many copies of an application on the home screen as you want. So you know there are a ton of changes and a ton of new features but the big question is should you install the public beta for iOS 15 or not? Now there is no simple answer to this question. The thing is that it still is a developing stage iOS version so there will be some issues and bugs but there won't be any major issues, any crashes, something like that. None of that is gonna happen. It's gonna be a smooth experience but again there are some things that can make your day harder because some applications won't be supported as of now, especially games because games they don't tend to work on these developer versions and public versions. So you'll have to wait out for that because you know this is something that's gonna happen and battery life that can also be kind of an issue on these developing stage versions. So you just have to keep all of that in mind before getting it. But in my opinion, you should go ahead and install the update and try out all of these new features before the official release. So you know, you won't face any major issues. And even if you do, you can simply go back to iOS 14 and keep all your data. So I will leave that video down below on how to downgrade back. And I will also leave the video for installation process down below. So you can see how you can install the public beta for iOS 15 without any issues and hassles. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you all for watching and as always, please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.